It's Wednesday, September 12th, 2012. I'm David Pierce, broken, bruised, forgotten, sore. This is 90 Seconds on the Verge. As expected, Apple today unveiled the iPhone 5. In addition to being thinner and lighter, the device now has a taller 4-inch 16x9 Retina display. Other big features include LTE support, a faster A6 processor, and a smaller dot connector Apple is calling Lightning. The iPhone 5 will cost $200 on contract. Both the 4 and 4S have received $100 price cuts, and consequently, the 3GS is now in retirement. The iPhone 5 will begin shipping worldwide on September 21st. Pre-orders start Friday. It seems like most of the details from today's event were leaked months ahead of time, but here's one that was kind of a surprise. New iPods. The super thin, completely redesigned iPod Touch has the same 4-inch Retina display as the new iPhone 5 and now features a built-in hook for lanyards. It starts at $299 with 32 gigs of storage. Meanwhile, the $149 iPod Nano loses its watch face friendly form factor for a more rounded iOS-like interface. Both new iPods are due in October in a variety of colors. And don't worry, the loop matches the chassis. And in non-Apple news, yes, we can do that, Sony is betting big on small cameras with really large sensors. In addition to the new and improved $850 NEX6, Sony today announced the Cybershot RX1. The camera has a full frame DSLR quality sensor and a much smaller form factor. There's a catch though. The RX1 does not support interchangeable lenses. We hope you really like 35 millimeters. The RX1 is due in November for $2,800. But hey, at least that includes a lens. And that's it for today's top stories. Tune in tomorrow for the very first iPhone 6 rumor.